Good evening, Brave, and good evening, New Eden. I'm Jenna Sedanian, and this is the Brave News Network. Tonight, I have the pleasure of speaking with Yana Palan, originator of the Fortizar Project. She joins me in the Blue Cronkite as we talk about the project and take a good look at a current Brave Fortizar. Tonight, I have with me Yena, who is, shall we say, advertising the Fortizar Project. Um, promoting. There we go, promoting. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been with Brave, what do you do in Brave, that sort of thing. So I've been with Brave since, oh gosh, do I remember? January. There we go. I've been in, Bra in Brave since January, so even though it feels like a really long time, it actually hasn't been that long. Um, and I started out in Brave just like as a complete new bro because I joined Eve in December, uh, did the Sisters of Eve arc, and then I joined Brave after that. Back when I joined Brave, Brave was still in uh, in Dog, and then we moved to Cloud Ring, and then we moved here. So I've survived two moves already. If it was another move, I, I'd expect a fire somewhere, but um, let's avoid that. And in Brave. I started out doing salvaging, cleaning up after people's ratting operations, and I thought it was a lot of fun. And then I got into Explo, and I started hanging out with the people who are in Zansha. And then I joined Zansha, and I've been puttering around doing some importing, um, just really kind of hanging out, participating in strat ops and PvP, and so on. How did you end up... Uh, promoting the Fort Azar project? What ended up happening is um, during one of the things actually that I do in Brave is I run mining ops. And in the mining ops channel in Slack, we started chatting one day about, you know, the the upcoming changes in moon mining and so on. And uh, I thought, wouldn't it be a cool community project if everyone in Brave got together and collected materials to build the Tatara? which is um, the, I believe, the, either the medium or the large moon mining complex. And I started chatting about that idea with the guys in the channel with me. And they were like, no, we should do this and we should do that. And it's going to be complicated. People are not going to want to donate. And then I thought, well, wouldn't it be awesome if we had a Fortizar that we had all built together and that we could say, we built that. We did it together. Because usually we come together to blow something up. And I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for Brave to build something together. Is there any specific person or group spearheading uh, this Fortizar project? Well, the idea originated with me. Um, so right now it's myself and three people who are going to work with me. Um, Toto Solet from Zansha, uh, Blood and Sheba also from Zansha, and Alexis Lambert from uh, Brave Industries. Uh, the three of us are going to be accepting donations for the Fortizar. And as the project was developing from an idea to something that we could actually do, uh, we got some support from Elsky, our industry director, who uh, who helped plan things out and kind of hammer out the details of it. And uh, he's also building a tracking tool that will track what we have gathered, how close we are to our target, who the donors are, and so on. Do you guys have any idea where uh, it would be located yet? That actually is a strategic decision. It's not something to which I would have input, and it is not something that I could even talk about, even if I was to know where it would go, because it would be an operational security matter. Right, and the OPSEC is strong and brave. That's right, or we try <laughs> to make strong. <laughs> we talked about what it is, how it came about. What does it take to build a Fortizar? It actually takes a lot of minerals, a lot of P4, um, 12 different kinds of blueprint copies for components that go into the making of the Fortizar. It takes skills, it takes time, and it takes around 500 million ISK for the installation of the manufacturing job. The tracking sheet that we're going to link um, in the forum post that is upcoming soon, trademark, um, there will be a link to the to the tracking sheet, and in there, people will be able to see how much of each of the different types of materials we are going to need and how much we've gathered. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but they're large. And once the um, forum post comes out and the link to the tracking sheet 
uh, is in there. We'll make sure to add it to the description of the video as well. Great. How can people donate? How can people help out? So if people want to help out, it would be awesome if they could donate their PI. What would be ideal for us is if people could donate P4. But I know that P4 is quite complex to make and people usually make it as a source of ISK so they can, you know, have fun and blow stuff up and everything else. So we will accept anything from P1 to P3. Second most important component are going to be minerals. So any kind of minerals that you want to throw our way, we'd be grateful for it. Or if you're mining and you want to give us some of your ore, that's fantastic as well. And the way to donate is to donate to Brave Industries, so either directly to the Corp or to the following characters. Nea Panal, you can kind of guess whose character that is, mine. Um, Angela Brown, who is uh, Blood and Sheba's character. And Alexis Lambert, who is uh, also running her own program right out of Brave Industries. Um, one of the th ways that you could think about donating to this project is if you can give us 10% of whatever it is that you're making. So if you're mining and you gather a hold full of ore, consider giving 10% toward the Brave Fortisar. If you are doing PI, consider donating 10% of your daily take or weekly take to the Brave Fortisar so that you too can say, I built this. This is my Fortisar. I helped make it. For any new bros among us, me included, where can they find more information about um, P1 through P4 and what exactly PI happens to be? So PI is planetary interaction and it is an activity that is open to Omega capsuleers, uh, whereby you do a little mini game on a planet that ends up getting you resources that you can sell for ISK. You can get more information about PI by uh, joining the Slack hashtag PI channel where there's a lot of information pinned and there's a group of people who regularly do PI who are more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, and I'm sure that there are some wonderful guides online as well. So for an alpha nubro, uh, perhaps the best way would be uh, mining and donating some of those proceeds? For Alpha Nubro, what we want is we'd like to find ways to help out our Alpha Nubros to establish themselves in Null. I truly have no expectations um, from anyone who's just joined Brave to donate to this project. What I would much prefer to do is ask them how I can help them to set themselves up in Null so they can make money to have fun. And then after they feel comfortable and established, then we can talk about how they can give back. That's one of the things I've loved since I've joined Brave, which has been about a week ago now. Everybody's very welcoming and very willing to help as long as, you know, they aren't in the middle of something. For sure. Welcome to Brave, by the way. Thank you. Another question you might not be able to answer yet. Do you have a name picked out? No. We actually don't. Um, and naming things in Brave is, is at times an intellectual exercise combined with an exercise in hardcore memeing combined with an exercise in some kind of an auction or something like that. So we'll see, we'll see what, uh, what, how it will develop and uh, what the name of the Fortis are going to be. I'm actually looking forward to figuring out how it's going to look, what it's going to look like, deciding how to name it. What do you hope to get out of um, the Fortisar project? Uh, for me personally, I would love the experience of bringing people together um, and the sense of accomplishment and the chance to learn something out of trying to bring people together to build a major project. Um, as far as what could Brave get out of it, Brave can get another structure, um, another place for ratters and miners to safe up when they're working in a system, um, another source of content perhaps, uh, but also s making something together and being able to see it in space, hanging there, being there for us and say, yeah, we made this together. The first time I arrived in GE Tech, which I kind of got potted and then destroyed on my way there. Um, <laughs> I think that's kind of like a rite of passage if you aren't it expecting is. it. It is. It needs to happen to you at least once. <clears throat> but when I first kind of undocked from uh, Peroto, I looked over at the Fordazar and saw like the brave banner 
just above and below it and it was just it was amazing yeah yeah i know a fort is definitely a symbol of of a presence and the possession in the system and it's also a source of safety and reassurance that there is somebody there for you you are not alone in this place so is there anything else you'd want to mention no i think i think this is it i think we got everything covered all right well thank you for taking the time to talk about the fortazar project and uh give everyone from you know the uh, most rugged veteran to you know the newest new bro a little bit of information about it thank you for the opportunity you are very welcome again we want to thank yana palan for joining us to talk about the ford is our project stay tuned to the brave collective forums for more information are you a new bro to brave and wanting to get in on this action Make sure you've set up your IT services and watch Slack, the forums, and the several in-game channels for more information. Are you a new bro to EVE and wanting to join the corporation that set the standard for new bro-friendly corps in New Eden? Go to bravenewbies.org and apply today. That's all from us tonight. On behalf of the Brave News Network, I'm Jenna Sedanian. Fly Brave.